perfect. Uh, we use it by okay. five Let's go. Eight times, eight times a week. So, okay. And what is the price of this? Okay. Perfect. And, uh, it depends, of course, on how many bags you buy. There are other bags on the market. There's the bag from Oba too, which is uh, uh, lower price. Okay. 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 So it's, a, it's an additional cost, and of course, it's a charge in Germany, as we have the Falcon Charge, which brings uh, like 3,400, 3,500 euros for it directly, and then uh, you have to. Okay, sorry, Harald, we need to switch to Bordeaux. So thank you for your very nice demonstration and congratulations. It was a very nice surgery. Thank you. Thank you very much. Applause, big applause for you. Thank you for demonstration. And now we go back to... Uh, Hall B. Gernot, wir sind wieder bei dir. Bitte. And we will take the module. Probably still get a And the aim is to save money and to do a hand on the this. Which is not worse than a tape on the this. But this is a surgical issue. Yeah. Gernot, there's a question on you. Regarding the sur surgery from Professor Hudelis, which parts of the colorectal surgery are performed exclusively by a colorectal surgeon? Yes, please. Did, did you hear me? So once more again, which part of the colorectal surgery are performed ex exclusively by the surgeon? So which part of the operation? Okay. Well, so. Brief. Now, this Brief part, answer. <laughs> now this is the part now which is the general surgeon performing. This is the general surgical part now. I'm just holding the camera. Okay, so uh, we say hello to the general surgeon. Okay, bounce. Hello, nice to see you. Very nice to see you and we're watching you. Ah, you're talking to me? <laughs> Hello from Bordeaux. Do you hear me? So we we would like to have the picture of the operative field, please. Thank you. Yes, now perfect. Very good picture. And do you feel the, the nodule? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, c'est pas moi. No, c'est pas nous. No, no, c'est pas nous. C'est pas nous. No, 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 c'est pas nous. No, no, il regarde notre. Hold, hold this. There's a question on the surgeon. Slowly, the camera, okay? Don't, don't forget. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Uh, listen, 
There's a question on a surgeon. Do you hear me? On a surgeon. Not on you. On a surgeon. You have nothing to do. You just don't recommend it, but you're on a surgeon. <laughs> well, what, what is the correct surgeon opinion regarding side to end versus end to end anastomosis? No answer. Could you please pass the microphone to the surgeon, Gernot? Side to side versus end to side. Follow, follow my, uh, end to side. Yeah. But we will dissect once. It is answered. Yes, thank you. That was really convincing. Thanks. <laughs> Fulfilling. Everybody knows now. <laughs> so. So the best is to switch to Bordeaux now because Professor Horace Romain already started the surgery. I think it's a rather complicated case. As we see, we have a lot of adhesions, so maybe we switch to Bordeaux now. Techniky poprosím, to je, to, je, to, je, to je obrazovka číslo 3, to není operační sál, nebo jak to bude, pojmenujem. Bordeaux, ok, tak And Bordeaux, teď yes, prosím Bordeaux, me? ano. Yes, we do. Hello, Horace, this is your Kekstein. Ok, hi Jörg, I, yeah, I, uh, I recognize you because uh, I was listening your discussions. Uh, during the last uh, 20 ah. minutes. So we have okay. just I'm very happy that you are here. Yes, we, we enjoy to have you here in Prague. Unfortunately, only via internet, but we are very interested in your case and your procedure and your strategy. And uh, now it's up to you. You can start, please. We're listening and he so I, I don't know Watching if you, you had the time to present, uh, to present the case. Uh, no. Uh, do, you, do you hear me? Yes. Okay. So I said that I don't know if you had the time to present uh, the case. We have a 32-year-old woman, infertile, with 18 months of uh, spontaneous conception attempts without success and she had she has a AMH low at 0.4 so she is symptomatic because she has a big poprosím techniku dolů hudelis pan docenta hudelista she has a big endometriosis nodule infiltrating the midrectum, the, mid the parametrium close, close to sacral roots, roots here, on roots, the left, here on the left, and the vagina. And the vagina. As, you see, As you can see, the fallopian tubes, the fallopian tubes at right, at it right, may work, may at left, work, less. At left uh, but she has uh, no she has endometrioma. No so the question was so the question if was this patient should have, patient should benefit should from benefit first from IVF, or from, IVF or from surgery. And this is a major concern. A major concern. And uh, I, uh, and, uh, I uh, proposed, proposed to, have to have a surgery for several reasons. For several reasons. First, because first because when a patient has an IVF zero has zero po an AMH 0 0.4, the IVF does the not work IVF very well. Work so very it well. is very likely that she needs several procedures. several procedures. 
the second argument is the patient is painful, so she has uh, major so digestive has symptoms, major symptoms uh, and then dyspareunia uh, and, and, uh, and uh, pain and into the left buttock. Into the left buttock. She has no dysuria, she and this, no is dysuria, this is a very important point because, uh, point because uh, we, if you perform the surgery now, now the it surgery is very likely now, that uh, very likely she won't that, uh, need self-catheterization. Self I think that the risk of self-catheterization is much higher when the patient has a dysuria prior to the surgery. Uh, and uh, uh, the and last the one, that as she has no endometrioma, I do not expect that my I surgery decrease more the, the more AMH. The so AMH. there are arguments I present. For us, yes. for us, yes. would, you, uh, would, you, would you mind to, 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 to explain us once more again with dysuria? And afterwards, uh, with uh, the bladder, um, bladder, sorry, uh, bladder problems after the operation. So, what you told us before? Yes. Once more again. So, if we, if you have a patient with infiltration of the parametrium, you may expect that the splanchnic nerves to be involved. In, uh, by the disease, or very close to the disease. So the question, mandatory question to each patient is how do you avoid the, your bladder? Do you need to push to avoid the bladder? Do you need to wait for starting uh, avoiding the bladder? Do you feel that your bladder is never uh, empty? And, uh, in a majority of patients in with uh, of involvement of the parametrium, the answer is yes. Yes, yes, I do this, but as this is not painful, I have never, uh, I have never thought that it could be uh, severe. For, for me, it's a very, very severe symptom. Because when the splanchnic nerves are involved, the the nerve, the nerve sparing surgery nerve sparing in endometriosis is very difficult, if ever it is possible. So once you have a patient with uh, with uh, involvement of the parametrium and no baseline dysuria, I think. Uh, I think it is for me it is an argument to do the surgery because uh, it means that the splanchnic nerves are uh, not involved at least at one side and I think you do not have to wait for having the dysuria because a woman with dysuria may improve after the surgery but also may impair because it means that your surgery will be on contact with the with the splanchnic nerve so now i'm 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 performing uh, i'm performing the uh, plasma i'm performing the ureterolysis i have to perform hold, hold this I have to carry out uh, the ureteral. <laughs> Hi, Horace. This is Attila speaking. Yes. Hi, Horace. How are you? I'm very fine. So, uh, nice could, you, to hear you. Uh, uh, could you please uh, explain us the an anatomical structures you just dissect right now? Yes. For the audience. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. So, Aspi. So, Aspi. So, we have the uterus here. So, we have the uterus here. We have, ju just, just, we just, have just, just move just slowly. Move. So, so we have so we have we have a uterus have with a uterus obviously with adenomyosis. Obviously adenomyosis. You, see you see it's a big uterus just a moment it's a big uterus, uterus, voluminous, uterus voluminous and, uh, with, a and uh, with a inflammatory shape inflammatory, inflammatory shape okay okay on the posterior on the posterior face of the uterus, you have an uh, endometriosis, endometriosis nodule here, big, here, a big one, big, a big infiltrating one. the infiltrating rectum, the rectum on, two on two or three centimeter length. Three centimeter so, so I know this because I uh, look at the MRI. Then the vagina. And you do. Yes. yes. Uh, the, the MRI, the picture. 
You use your MRI, you don't use ultrasound, so you use MRI. Uh, I, I use ultrasound, but uh, I, I use less ultrasound for a, for a technical problem, because okay. I'm in Bordeaux and a majority of my patients come from far. Patients from Bordeaux usually go to my, uh, to my colleague Benjamin, you will see him uh, performing the surgery right after me and you will uh, understand that he's an excellent surgeon so uh, the patients from Bordeaux are usually for him and me I have patients coming from far so it is very important for me to have an idea prior the patient come about the, the disease because I also try to select the patient who take appointment with me to have only patients with lip endometriosis and colorectal endometriosis and that's why I ask them to perform an MRI elsewhere and to send me the CD. So all the patients for me to have an appointment, they have an MRI. And on the MRI, I see very well that the nodule is here. It involves the parametrium until there. So I think we'll see the sacral root during the dissection. The sacral root are not actually involved. I had a patient two weeks ago with, uh, with, with uh, such uh, infiltration but uh, he uh, did not want to have the surgery this week because uh, she had an over uh, uh, for, for family problems so I uh, scheduled this patient with uh, uh, parametrial infiltration and we will see the sacral root, we will see all the anatomical structures. So I started on the left side and you see here the adnexa, then hold, 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 don't let it go. Here you see the ureter and usually, usually when the patient has parametrial involvement toward the sacral roots, the nodule is below the ureter. From while to while, in maybe 30% of cases or 20%, the nodule may also involve the ureter. And in this case, you may have a hydronephrosis or even a kidney atrophy. And during the last uh, eight months, we have uh, removed five kidneys in Bordeaux in our clinic. Due to no parameter. Excuse me, Horas. Yes. Radek is speaking. Would yeah. you mind, yeah. for various reasons, we, sh we have to s switch for the operation theaters A and B back yeah. just only for two minutes. Yes, but this I was the wish yeah. from, the, from the clinic. So we have to follow it. Be yeah. so kind. Stop yeah. the procedure now. Stop the procedure for two minutes and we will be back at you in two minutes time. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll just perform like on the right side, okay? Be, no, it's very interesting now that setting this hepagastric plexus free. Be so kind, stop it for a minute. Okay, okay thank you. Můžeme poprosit vrátit se k sálům A a B. Don't let, never let the uterus go down. Until the end of the surgery. Ich weiß, I don't know. Uh, uh, wir sind jetzt Harald, wir sind jetzt bei dir. Okay, okay, and this is, um, uh, you, uh, you do it always or in special cases? Okay, but um, for extreme, for let's say for a, um, uh, advanced endometriosis uh, procedures, when you have a lot of wounds, you use it. Il faut que tu parles rarement. 
D'accord. Il faut que tu parles rarement. Ok. Rarement. Tu vois, tu vois que je parle plus rarement que d'habitude. Non, rare, c'est-à-dire doucement, dans la vitesse. Slowly. Ok. Doucement, on dit. Lentement. Mais rarement aussi, pourquoi rarement ça va pas ah, ah oui, d'accord. Ah, c'est bon. Que votre langue est compliquée, dis donc. <rire> oui. Ah oui, rarement c'est... Oui. Je perds. <rire> non, non. non, il faut parler tout le temps, mais... Euh, mm. ouais. bah, Orat m'a dit qu'il ne faut pas parler. Mm. <rire> Ok, thank you. Poussez, poussez, poussez le plastique. Uh, yes, we see it very, very. very. May, I, may I comment it just from the point of uh, of uh, of this country we are now sitting in, or Prague and city. Uh, this, com this company and this product here, Barrier, is very spread off in Czech Republic, and uh, we have got in the last times uh, good experiences with it. So it's uh, just only a comment. Enjoy it. No noise. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Můžeme se vrátit Bordeaux. So we are back at you or us. Okay, very well. So okay, I, I will so just perform will the electrolysis on the other side because, uh, because uh, if you had a look at the MRI, the MRI on, the I sent on the PowerPoint I sent you yesterday, the uh, plasma, uh, there is also a uh, limited also involvement uh, of, the, of, the of the right parametrium. So I have to take care, so to, take care to, be to be complete with the complete, complete excision the on the left side, which is symptomatic, side, which is symptomatic but, to but to be very prudent on the right parametrium in order right to avoid, order to a, avoid denervation, a denervation of the, denervation of of the bladder. The, of so the let bladder. me see where is the so ureter here. Clean, uh, clean the camera, please. Clean, uh, clean so camera, I am, uh, my team oh, am, uh, involves team. two colleagues, involves surgeons, two colleagues. one from surgeons, Israel, one Ahmed, from Namazov, Israel Ahmed Namazov, which is on my left. Which is on my left. He, holds he holds the camera. And uh, a, and, uh, colleague uh, from, uh, a colleague from uh, Jordan, Jordan, Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, Jamil Marabha. Marabha. So they are my fellows. So they are my uh, fellows. For, uh, one, and one and two years, and I am very happy to work with them. Very nice guys, very, nice very skilled. Very so skilled. here you have the uh, right yes. ureter, uh, and I have my and private have nurse, my which knows me very, very well, very knows very all my behavior. So uh, you will see that I don't need to speak with her to have the right instrument. Yes. Horace, sorry to interrupt you. We're going to show you MRI pictures okay. you just sent us. So we, we're going to show the, the MRIs to the, to the audience, okay? Okay, so here we have it. Okay, Would you just so please show the MRI? Ah, here we go. Here we you, see. Can you explain it? Because I, uh, I cannot see at the same time your screen and uh, my screen. Yes, indeed. Yeah, obviously. So here we can see a big, huge nodule affecting the uh, anterior wall of the rectum. It's, uh, and also the posterior vaginal wall. And, um, as you said, it's quite a large nodule. It's like, I cannot estimate from here, but it's at least five centimeters. And, um, and uh, do you have another other picture as well? 
you can see on the MRI very well this is a merge between the uh, the bowel and the posterior part of the uterus with adenomyosis which is obvious there um, um, or us, so do you plan also to resect some part of the uterus so what is your plan in that we see the picture is very good is there another picture can you go to the next one please yeah. Ah, yes, we see. Yeah, uh, we good. have now the next pictures, which is very well. It's the um, the um, vision of the infiltration of the left uterosacral ligament, which is also very very big. The parametrium, okay, very good pictures and good demonstration, and also the infiltration of the bowel. The next one. Okay, the strategy, okay, uh, we can see it. Operative 1.30, so this is a very sportive. Um, um, disc resection and no vaginal infiltration, no stoma. Okay, so we have a good, a good picture and a good impression what you're facing to, and now, so, um, we are. Ch we just go back for one second, or us, to Ganotodilis, who is at the very end of his procedure. To he will demonstrate his final uh, result. Um, Ganot, can we go on Salbi? Salbi, Ganot, du bist wieder auf Sendung. You made a hand sewn anastomosis. A running suture. One layer. Can you show? We'll dissect the big vessels. We'll dissect the big vessels here. Here, here. Show me the point of my, the tip of my. Yes. And this is just. Yes. Hold. Uh, um, where is the nodule? You cut the, in two pieces, how you cut, you opened? Okay, it's of a four centimeter segment, or how long is it? Yes, okay, this is four cent, yes, four centimeters. Very good. So, but uh, when, uh, when you measured it in the ultrasound, it, it Yes, but uh, the, it does it uh, correspondent with the findings in the ultrasound? The picture is not very good. You have to be very... You have to stand still, otherwise we cannot we cannot see it. Please hold the camera very still. <laughs> and the camera has to be stand still. Now it's better. Yes, it's okay. And the show the nodule. Okay. And now the length of the nodule is how long? Okay. Okay. Yes. Now we can see it very. Precisely. Yes. Yes. Thank you. This is very impressive.
Gernot, may we leave you? That's great. Thank you. Gel, okay. At the, at the end. Don't move. Oh, okay. And, uh, okay. Excellent. Basically, this is it. So you have you you will uh, loosen the ovario uh, pexi and then you put and then you put the, and then you put the gel for adhesion pre pre uh, pre prevention. Okay. So. Should we stay with you, or should we? Can we switch to Rouen, uh, to Bardot? <laughs> okay. How much is it? What you put on there? Okay, Gernot, we enjoyed your surgery, your explanation, perfect surgery, and uh, very informative. Thank you very much and to your whole team. Thank you. Thank you, Gernot. It was very elegant and very clear, so it was really nice Please surgery. do not forget the surgeon. Uh, and also <laughs> for your team, yeah, obviously. Yeah. And thank you very much again. Thanks. Horace, yes. Horace, we are now okay. with you. Please uh, show you and, and, and explain what you have done and what you so, are planning. I prepared, I prepared the anatomical structure, so here you have the ureter, and then here you have the hypogastric artery and the hypogastric vein and I followed the, the branches of the hypogastric vein far until the limit of the nodule because when you resect the nodule you may have some, uh, some uh, bleeding from the vein and uh, it is very useful to be able to clamp them and to control the bleeding. And when I started uh, performing this kind of, uh, the surgery of this kind of lesions uh, of the parametrium with a huge involvement, I had uh, during the first uh, eight months four bleeding from a vein of the parametrium, very difficult to control. In two of them, I had to convert to laparotomy. Well, the patients also had a lot of uh, adhesions because uh, they have already had uh, colorectal resection, each one. But I, uh, I, I realized that I have to dissect the, the vein in order to control them and not just to cut uh, at the limit of the nodule. So here you have a nice view of the hypogastric vein and then you have to know that if you have to go on the sacra root, they are just below the vein and in the front of piriform muscles, meaning right here. Uh, and uh, all these uh, fibers or nerves from the inferior hypogastric plexus so I dissected them, but some of them will be cut here because the nodule is right here and the as you saw on the MRI, it goes uh, down and uh, I'm sure that numerous 
fibers should be sacrificed in order to remove the endometriosis. But this is the dissection. This is the uh, dissection required for a uh, nerve sparing surgery. And if you want to see the sacral root, so I said that you have to go. You have to go far here. Here. And just below, and just below, below the vein, below the vein, we have the piriform muscle and the, the sacral roots. The, the so sacral here we are on the on the level of the sacral roots, but we have to find them. We have to find them. And I'm sure that. I'm sure that. You are some some millimeter some far, some from millimeter far from one of them, maybe the S3. Maybe the S3. Uh, to see uh, them better, I had to, to cut them all these fibers, but, uh, fibers, but uh, it is not actually is useful, not for this actually procedure. useful for this procedure. And uh, as they are nerves, and, uh, I think uh, nerves, we cannot think, uh, do it, but we, we should not do it. But, but here you see the pill for muscle, so if you descend, if you go farther, we will see the sacral root very well. I'm sure that we will see one of them uh, during the dissection of the root. So this is the parametrium. And now I and will... Which sacral, sorry, Horace, to interrupt you. Which sacral root do you expect the S1 or 2? Or which one do you expect to see here, here, from, expect from this point of view? S, S3. So in my experience, S3, this kind, I see. kind of lesions are actually S, S3. That's why the patients do not, do not actually have sciatic pain, because sciatic okay, pain so is that's why. L, L5, S1, but uh, rather they have, uh, they have uh, symptoms of, like, such as dysuria or uh, constipation. And as you are here, I want to tell that uh, you, you, I, I heard that you spoke about um, disc excision and uh, segmental resection. And uh, I think that in numerous patients with large involvement of the uh, plasma, of the um, parametrium, Performing a disc excision does not change, does not actually change the, the function because the function may be altered by, uh, may be affected by uh, simply, by simply the involvement of the innervation. So even though you leave a rectum uh, in, in good shape, it may the function may be, may be definitively affected by the involvement of, uh, of the nerves. That's why I think that when you have, uh, when you have a dysuria, you may also have a, a constipation. Now I let down the uh, parametrium and I go on the rectum because my strategy in this kind of nodules is uh, to separate the nodule in a part involved in the rectum, in a part involved in the vagina, and then over the parametrium. So the next step... Uh, Oras, uh, Oras, may I interrupt you? Please give a short information about the instrument, the plasma, what is the property and, and how you use it, and what is the advantage of other instruments. Can you explain it for our... Uh, yes. Um, yes. Uh, auditorium. Yeah, so plasma, uh, plasma jet is a device which properties are very, very specific. And to my knowledge, you do not find another instrument with the same properties. Uh, basically, it works like uh, the effect is comparable with that of the laser because you have a beam like this. Uh, a, beam uh, a beam of energy uh, with, temperature. Uh, with temperature. The temperature decreases decrease from, decrease from several hundred degrees several at the tip of the instrument the to 30 degrees to at 3 centimeters far. Three centimeters it means that it, it is like it a scalpel like and you can control the, the control effect the by controlling the distance to the, the tissue. To the so tissue. as you see, I use so it as, as a scalpel. 
So in the same manner, so I the same could manner use uh, the, could the, use the uh, blade of uh, the blade of, of the uh, harmonic scale for uh, uh, Thunderbeat. But the difference is that the, the as it is a virtual scalpel, I see scalpel, all the time I what, I cut. The time what I cut. Second, the the uh, uh, thermic energy is preset uh, by a kinetic energy, energy which dissects the which, dissects which show the, which the space, the, the space, dissection place. So the dissection of deep spaces the is enhanced space with this, uh, this, this instrument. With this, uh, this instrument. And uh, the third and property, uh, very interesting, is that there is no lateral thermal speed. No speed. So you can shave the rectum so shave the with rectum this instrument with like this as a scalpel, and, uh, and uh, you won't have a necrosis of the, of the rectal wall bar uh, the by uh, diffusion uh, of the thermal energy. It's so like CO2 laser. It is like a CO2 laser with the difference that it is an also an instrument so you can touch the tissue. With. The instrument, the tip of the handpiece is always cold. It's never, I don't understand why, but it is always cold so you can, uh, you can touch the tissue. You do not uh, risk to have, uh, to have um, a necrosis. And uh, when you when you when apply you, when you put the instrument the, the jet of a tissue the destruction is very very superficial and to cut you have what to does it mean what does that mean superficial excuse yes. me what does that mean superficial? superficial that's the basic question what does that mean superficial is what 0.3 millimeter okay so Good, because <coughs> you are going you, okay. You are going you are going straight through the nodule. Yes. And uh, yes. you are how you how you how you check how you control how you estimate the proximity to the bowel wall because many of us have either a manipulator in the vagina so that we can control the proximity to the to the vagina or the finger either in the vagina or in the rectum the so, index finger. Yes. So you are going straight to the nodal. Yes, I control How you it. can estimate the proximity? This is the question. I, I control it by starting laterally, and I see where you see. I, I see here that the the nodal infiltrates the rectum two millimeter or three millimeter. So if I cut this, the rectum will be completely released. So I I. Send the, the jet of plasma, and you see you see that the gas goes here. It means that here there is no nodule, but a physiological plane. And I come medially, and I saw that I have to go there. And I come, I go here. We can see we can see it nicely. We can see it nicely. Thank you. So th this is a, great. This is Thank a you. Excellent property. Now. I have to speak also about the disadvantages and why I do not do all my surgery with uh, all my procedures with plasma jet. So the, the, the disadvantages are directly linked to the advantages. So as there is no lateral thermal spread, you cannot, you cannot have a good coagulation effect, hemostasis effect. So the plasma jet is not able to, to perform hemostasis if you apply it, if you put the jet on uh, vessels larger than uh, two or three millimeters. So you have to know this and never cut directly a vessel larger than two millimeters. So it is not a hemostasis uh, instrument. And uh, for, for this reason, I use it uh, systematically for uh, disc excision or uh, shaving, but I rarely use it for colorectal resection because in colorectal resection, I have uh, the rectum is completely released. Because or us, or us, okay. or us, okay. Would you mind to try to to clean the optic or to 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 improve the picture a little bit? Yes. Uh, yes. If it's possible, if it's possible, because. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's it's now it's now it's better. Now it's better. Now it's a little bit better. Yeah. So, yeah. so the so slower the the, 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 the mo movement of the, the instruments, the, the better for us. <laughs> so the rectum is completely released. 
Here I have some vessels. Okay, can you uh, please, uh, please now, uh, Oras, it's very important for the auditorium. Please show a little bit your strategy and your landmarks, how you prepare and why you do that and why you don't do something else. It could be helpful to understand where is the pathology and uh, where is the um, uh, where is your your strategy to go. Can you just give some hints for for the very very uh, interested uh, auditorium, please? Yes. So, yes. so I clean the camera and I, I come back. So we had so, first we, we had, had a big nodule infiltrating the rectum on uh, three centimeter from there to there. The rectum was a here. here. So we have several so possibilities have several and possibilities also going on the on the uterosacral ligaments and the paramecium. So we have several strategies. Either we try to remove everything on block. So we have to start by cutting at the right here, then going far into the paramecium, opening the vagina, and then section, uh, performing a colorectal resection by sectioning the, the um, rectum above the nodule. It means that that what we would have done if uh, it, ha it had been a cancer. But in endometriosis, I think we, we should to be as conservative as possible. So we need to cut only the lesion and uh, as, as little normal tissue as possible. That's why in this cases I have the same strategy because I perform the same surgery for Otilo in Budapest but also for Bucharest and for Madrid so four times the same during the last month and it is always the same strategy so I release the rectum by sectioning the nodule around the rectum so the rectum it go so please uh, please show me where is the nodule in the rectum can you them uh, can you touch it yes so the nodule in the rectum i i will turn the camera the nodule in the rectum and and slow movement please because otherwise the picture is uh, we have a lot of pixels you have pixels yes yes we have a lot of pixels when you move you very fast Okay, yes. but you, you should the picture is in a bad. We have a bad picture then. Oh, I'm very sorry. Oh, I'm very but, sorry. Uh, but uh, you should not, huh? You should not. Yes, but we have. <laughs> on peut, on peut, on peut on peut the, uh, maybe the up the upload is not uh, good enough. So then, when you move very fast, then we have a lot of pixels. Okay, so we will go slowly. So the infiltration of the nodule starts here, okay. because the, no, the, the rectum was the tage, or even here, the rectum was the tage here, and it goes down to here. So we have okay. four centimeters, but we can remove this with a disc excision. I will show you a bit later how we do it. Yes, okay. Then and then we have an infiltration of the vagina from the cervix until here. So in, on the visit, I uh, believe that the vagina is not infiltrated. You have a manipulator in the uterus? Yes. Yes. Which one? Uh, I have a disposable manipulator called uh, okay. Vectec. Okay. Just a moment, I will, uh, I will clean. Okay. So where is this? Where is the cervix and where is the vagina? So this is the my finger into the vagina. The okay. vagina is infiltrated the wall posterior cul-de-sac. The cervix is here. 
So the infiltration okay. is from there to there, and it goes far here. I have to section this. This is the uterosacral, yes. Yes, yeah, uterosacral, and it goes down here. You see here we have we have still infiltration on the on the parameter. So my okay, we will my strategy see. will be to release the rectum to perform a disc excision to cut here to section a part in a parametrium a part into the vagina then to excise the vagina like this to suture and then to excise the parametrium so i will remove three three pieces of the nodule uh, just a moment okay. I, I will i will speak with my engineer Et donc, um, my, uh, my engineer proposed to, to disconnect and connect back because he said that uh, he says that uh, the um, the flux of the of the movie is maybe not the best one. So if you agree, we'll just cut the tra the broadcasting and we'll come back in uh, less than one minute. Yes, the good yes. idea. Yes, we we are. Okay, we'll take very a break. well. Thank you. Yes, please. Puedo sortir el transición así. Oui, la dernière. Joining the meeting. Oui. Uh, do you hear me now? Huh? Oui, c'est uh, le c'est le de, uh, Ah oui. Appelé uh, c'est le dernier. Appelé. Donc fait uh, 94 7000. 94 7000. Uh, le numéro avait 42. 420. Ouais. Yes. Hello? Uh, could you connect you again, please? Because we changed some, something in the parameter. The parameters. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, you were back now. Yes, I'm back. Do you hear ba do you okay. see better? Uh, no, it's very similar. The, the, I think if, the, if you're, the movement is slow and then uh, uh, the picture and, and, and the camera stays in a, in a still position, probably then um, it's, it's very important. This is very surprising because in Budapest we had a, a, a very clear, uh, very good image. Yeah. Now something's wrong here with, with the technical support. Because last time we had a very, very good quality picture. Yeah. Now the the problem here, Horace, is that we're not we're not able to see very clear uh, what's what, what's going on during the surgery. This is the problem now. Okay. Now we we won't we won't move. We'll try to stay at the same uh, distance. And now the next step. I, I will take the harmonic scalpel, which is a very good uh, coagulation instrument, and I will section this part uh, to, to separate the vagina and the nodule of the parameter. Okay, come a bit closer and move very, very slowly. Ahmed. So we will separate, we will cut so we'll into, the nodule, into the nodule, which is actually very hard. It is very, very, very hard. 
So you cut it in two pieces? Yes. And then I, I will... Okay, really then... I will carry out the excision of the vaginal infiltration and then that of the parametrial infiltration. So, and you use the harmonic scalpel, why? Uh, because here I need, uh, I need, uh, I need a good coagulation uh, instrument because I will encounter a, a lot of vessels. So, Okay. I prefer for this the harmony scalpel. Now I, I yes, we can see it. Yeah, I use two instruments in order to because there is a life surgery, a demonstration, and we have to diffuse uh, different energies. But uh, in my daily practice, you you agree with me that I uh, I uh, choose either one or over. Okay. And for the parametrium, now it's a, for the parametrium, I see that the anatomy becomes very clear now. It's very nice to follow you. Okay, so here we have okay, so infiltration of the vagina. Here we have the nodule on the parametrium. S. You saw it on the on the MRI, and here we have the rectum. Now, usually... Um, and the question, is it the parametrium or is it the lateral part of the cardinal, uh, of the uterosacral ligament? I, I think it is the parametrium because uh, on the MRI you see that it goes uh, down. It goes very down. I think it goes uh, until the, uh, the levator any muscles. So for me this is rather okay. parametrium. Yes, okay. But I agree so it's an, it, it's an ancient B3 lesion. So here we have A3, B3, A3, B3, C3. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank so you. Everything is free. Okay, now, uh, what do you want? I, I think that uh, at uh, half past 12, we have to switch on the symposium. So maybe I will, pre I will uh, prepare the rectum to perform the disc excision because it is uh, interesting for everybody. Then I will remove the parametrium and I will let at the end the vagina, which is yes. less interesting, okay? Yes, you are, yes, we are looking forward and we are, uh, we see the disc resection and the resection of the parametrium, which uh, we are interested in. So to do this, to prepare the bowel for the disc excision, I need a rectal manipulator. Because to perform a disc excision, you have to prepare the shaved area, but also with the lateral part of the rectum. So it means that you have to put into the stapler, we use a circular stapler to do this, you have to put into the stapler only rectal wall without, uh, without uh, fat tissue. Because if you catch the fat tissue too, you may have a uh, hemorrhage and you may have a fistula. So I have to prepare the lateral rectal wall and I can do it very, very well using a rectal manipulator. So I ask... Horace, can I have a question? Yes. Sorry, can I have a question, please? Is it possible to use the Ruan technique in this case at this level of the of the rectum? No, definitely not. No, definitely not. The it's too high up. That's yes. the problem. The Ruan technique okay. is reserved to only low rectal nodules because the 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 principle of the technique is to get the rectal wall, shaved rectal wall, down to the anus. And this is impossible for nodules which are, which are high. So it, it means that the Ruan technique could be performed if the nodule were there. So if the nodule is here or until there, the superior limit of the nodule, it is feasible. But here it is too, uh, it is too high. Okay. So uh, there's a question from there's a question from the auditorium. 
Um, uh, when do you decide to making bowel resection instead of shaving or discoid? So how you make the decision now what kind of surgery you make? Yes, it is an excellent yes, question. Excellent so, question. So, we also try to perform shaving perform or disc excision instead of colorectal resection. But anyway, we can do it anyway, only in 60% of cases. 60% of cases. Because in 40% of, of cases, the disease is too large to be removed by a disc to and too deep to be removed by a shaving. Otherwise, we carry out a shaving we when, we shaving when we estimate that the, our resection that is our complete, resection is meaning complete, that in nodule not very nodule deep, not very or deep. when we estimate or that we even estimate though that the resection is not complete, is not complete the risk of recurrence is very low, meaning very low. in women over 40 year old. This is this all the the reasons to do the shaving. The advantage of the shaving is that a patient with shaving will never had an impairment, never, rarely, we rarely have an impairment of the digestive function or a low anterior rectal resection syndrome. It means that you have to prefer the shaving in women who are not very symptomatic from a digestive point of view because you do not propose a technique which may which may present an immediate complication such as fistula or or dyscasia or low anterior rectal resection syndrome I prefer the disc excision in nodule which may be large until 5 cm length, but where the, the rectum may be prepared and may be pushed into a stapler. It means that, okay. that the nodule may be uh, very large on the low rectum because... Um, uh, Horace, may, uh, Horace, I would like to interrupt you. When you use uh, now this ultracision very close to the bowel serosa, you are not afraid to make a coagulation there? The lateral damage with the, the, with here, yes, when you coagulate, there's a damage to the bowel serosa. You're not afraid of that? Uh, this is an excellent uh, question. Excellent uh, question. Uh, I, I honestly... I, I don't know, but I, I, know, know, that I, I know that I have to remove this. Uh, so, that, because, well, because you... But you're only here, you use the instrument on this piece which you will remove. Okay, yes. I understand. Yes. Thank you. Um, now, to, to, answer, to, honest, to answer if the, if the thermal damage uh, had been, uh, had been measured, I think uh, my rate of fistula on the disc excision uh, would have been uh, very high. And uh, on this excision, we have uh, almost the same rate of fistula than we have in, uh, in the colorectal resection. Meaning that if you carry out a disc excision, it's not to reduce the risk of immediate complications because we, we have a suture and this suture may, uh, may present a fistula. But the goal is only to, to spare the rectum and to try to to avoid some functional outcomes which may, may in my opinion, uh, be related to the colorectal resection, particularly when it is low. Then, the, the higher the nodule, the more we are likely to perform a colorectal resection because uh, the risk of... Uh, the risk of uh, unfavorable uh, functional outcomes decreases, and uh, so the, the colorectal resection is maybe the first the first technique to use on the sigmoid and on the upper rectum. So I have I have uh, various arguments which. Uh, 
which uh, privileges uh, uh, shaving uh, this incision uh, or uh, colorectal infection, but uh, it is important to uh, emphasize to that I take this decision prior to the surgery. And it is not an intraoperative decision, an intraoperative but decision, it is always prior to the surgery. No, it's okay. Now the question is, no, is the question here is, we have uh, here infiltration we have or, not? Infiltration or not? Because if here is the infiltration, the, this the incision is no longer feasible. No longer you, see that you see that this excision should remove, excision should remove from this part, from this part until this part. Until this part. So we can do it. But if you so can, can if you have to if remove can, this, if we have to remove this, it is actually too large. It is actually too large. And I'm and very, very, I'm very very I'm surprised. Here we cannot see it very well. This is the problem. I think the the quality of the images is not the not the best one. I, I will try to, Just, I will try to, to clean. To clean. Now I, I no, wonder I if the, the quality of the, the, the image of is not related to the reception, to the capability to recept, to the Congress, because we, uh, we had a we test, had uh, two, weeks test ago, uh, two weeks ago and it was okay. So I think that it is related to the, to the size the where, to the, the where place the where the Congress, the where the Congress I think it is a infiltration is here too. Infiltration so, here. so, 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 so we'll carry so out so the colorectal injection. Because from here, because from here to there, we have to much there, more than five centimeters. So the, so the here we have eight millimeter have eight or one millimeter centimeter, so we have one, so we have one two, two, three, three four, four, five. Yeah, we have more than five, five centimeters. Yeah, centimeter. So we'll carry out a, a so color we'll here. here. So remove, uh, remove, uh, so remove your, uh, remove, uh, your manipulator. So I'm very sorry it won't be so a discussion, it, it, will, be a it will be a colorectal resection and we will section the rectum from here to there. The rectum so as you have already, so as you seen, have a already seen a colorectal resection, maybe it will be more interesting to show the dissection of the parametrium. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I it's agree. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hold, yeah. Hold Go on for the parametry for the left one. Okay, let's go on the parametrium. Okay, let's go on the parametrium. Now, on the parametrium, now, I will start, on the parametrium I will start back, back and I will follow. And I will follow. I will follow. I will follow the normal tissues. The normal tissues. So here also so I here have a lot of I vessels. A lot of vessels. So I will rather take. So the will rather take the the harmonic scalpel. The harmonic scalpel. But to to go to come to back to on, the, on the on the rectum. So if if let's say that the infiltration is just here, just here to perform a disc excision, you have to remove the all these fibrous, fibrous tissues to put a stitch, put here, a stitch here and then there. And then to there, close the knot, to close the and knot, to push the circular stapler the inside, circular closed, inside, then to closed, open it, then to put the anvil here and the shoulder there, then to push this then inside, and to, to close the circular inside, stapler, to and, to circular and, circular and to remove a piece a large like, piece large like five, five centimeter five disc. Five so this is the principle. Isn't it too large? Isn't it too large for discrete resection? It is too long, and, long. and I am, okay. I am uh, embarrassed I'm by uh, this, this part, you see, this, this part. Here, mm -hmm. here, this here, this is thick, this is thick, this is thick, so we have uh, two centimeters so more two from centimeter there, more to there. there to there, so if you carry out a disc excision, so we will step all in uh, pathological in, uh, tissue, uh, and uh, this is not uh, suitable. 
So it, it, it's, so it, it is rare then that we, we have to, we, we have to, to convert. The problem convert is that when you have a rectal endometriosis, the endometriosis may, uh, endometriosis may, uh, may involve the rectum on the several rectum centimeters, on but, several then centimeters the but then the superior and the inferior point of the infiltration come on contact with a protrusion into the into the rectum. And once you shave the rectal area involved, you see that the involvement actually actually concern not uh, concern three centimeter uh, but uh, three centimeter five or six uh, centimeter five or six that's why would you mind to show us again for the audience the hypogastric plexus the hypo hypo hypogastric nerve on the left and the dorsal parametry the fibrotic part you are dissecting now yes. I, 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 I will remove the, the involvement of the parametrium, which is here and there. The hypogastric mm -hmm. nerve is inside, so we, I, I had already yeah. cut it. And uh, the, the part of lateral part of the hypogastric plexus will be conserved, but maybe not enough to leave functional nerves, because the nerves to the rectum will be cut here. Be then here. destined then to the vagina the maybe will be conserved it depends on the depends lateral on involvement the here lateral but anyway we'll so the sensitive the sen yes the sensitive part of the plexus stays in uh, stays and uh, and the motoric yes the dorsal will yes. be removed yes yeah. So I try yes. to, to stay so very, try very, to close stay very, very close to the tissue I feel tissue being I feel uh, hard, being, uh, hard. Here. here. And to... Okay, Horace, sorry, can I have a question here? Yes. Uh, what, is, what is your opinion if you have a both sides invo in, uh, both side, uh, involvement of uh, parametria? So what is your strategy then? The strategy is to remove the, the, the part which is the, the most, uh, is the most, uh, most uh, symptomatic, and this is uh, take care, take care on the, take, take care on this, take care on the fetish. Um, so the, to remove the the part which is the most symptomatic, and to be, to be very conservative on the contralateral part, meaning that. If the involvement goes to the nerves, it is maybe more prudent to let it down. And to come back if the patient has dysuria because of the involvement of the, of the, of the nerves. If, if, the, if the disease itself is responsible for dysuria. So, so I try to avoid so the that if the patients become dysuric, have a dysuria af just after the surgery because they will uh, find that the surgery was uh, unsuccessful and I explain them that 90% uh, of the disease was removed but in order to preserve the bladder function for several years, uh, I uh, decide to not to remove both parametriums. Just a moment, I, I ha we have to clean. Uh, yes, like this. So here, let's let's see again. Get 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 uh, back. Get back with the camera. Get back. Okay. Okay. So, so once more, this is the ureter. This is the this is hypogastric the artery. artery. I, I will clean. I don't know why we have a such bad view. Okay. Okay. So, so, come back. So here we have hypogastric veins. We have then 
all the fibers of the inferior hypogastric plexus, and we'll try to stay as medially as we can, but removing all the all the disease in order to preserve all this nerve. So I can I think we can we can cut here very close. Because here we have so is the plexus on the left hand side on the left hand side killed completely. Now this is right. So we stay always we stay very very close to the lesion and this is the main difference, the major difference between uh, the surgery of endometriosis and the surgery of the cancer. And uh, and I uh, think that the, think the, principle, the principle of the surgery of endometriosis should of definitively be completely, completely separated from that of the cancer. From that of the cancer. Because the goal, the because disease the is goal different, the goal of the surgery are different. Surgery are different. Uh, the goal of the surgery is different. Surgery is different. I will clean, uh, I, will clean uh, I will wash the endoscope and I think we have a better view. Horace, 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 do you, do you hear me? We have to leave you just for only for two minutes to switch to the operation theater okay, very well. and so be I back in one minute again. Thank you. Stay, stay in a position okay. <laughs> and wait for us. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> C'est juste que l'image n'est pas bonne. Good morning. Ils ne savent pas une bonne image. Et je pense que c'est lié au fait que. Yes, we hear you. Yes, we hear you. Oui, ils n'ont pas un débit yes. suffisant. Good morning, everybody. Is the second OB keeper in the following class and we just starting with the surgery for the brother in the medical office? Oui, ça serait bien. Ah, mais ça serait bien. Non, mais je vais le montrer parce qu'on va, on va, on va, on va le voir. Prosím, techniky, dávejte to automaticky dolů. Uh, yes, we can, we can hear you, we can see it. It's an excellent, pic, excellent picture and presentation of the case. Uh, okay, we, we have no questions until now. Oh, oh, wait, 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 Attila. Hi, Jan. It's the pic I mean, the quality of the picture is excellent. We can see you very clearly in the whole case. It's, it's going to be a very nice and interesting surgery, I think. Hmm? So we may switch to... We may switch back to Bordeaux now. Thank you. Okay, so... Hello, Horace. We are so back to you now. We are back. So here you see uh, the big nodule... Horace, can you hear me? Yes. So here you see the big okay. nodule of the paramecium. Let it down. Here. This is the nodule which was there. So we completely remove it. And here we have uh, the have levator uh, ani muscles. Here, here are the here. muscles. Here are and the here, muscles. I, and think here we, we I think we will we, see, we, we'll see some sacral roots. One, sacral once, roots. I, I once I remove, uh, I, remove uh, I completely remove the nodule. Remove the nodule. So just one so just second. One second. <laughs> And I estimate that and the resection, lateral resection, is complete on the left side. Uh, Oras, I have an um, anatomical uh, question and so for a better understanding. Yes. If you remove the pa if you remove the parametrium. 
lower of than the uterine artery, then in fact you cut a lot of uh, uh, hypogastric nerves anyway, because from the anatomical point of view, you must, you have to, to to resect them in order to remove the whole complete endometriosis. So the decision to to leave something behind or to conserve the nerves, how is your opinion and how is your decision making? Yes, so if yes. the patient so is symptomatic, the patient is symptomatic on the left side, on the left side I remove everything, I but, remove I keep, everything. but I keep, I keep, I keep, uh, zip, zip, zip. Uh, but I keep the, uh, the right keep side. The, so the right once side. I so start dissecting the parametrium the on the side, on, the on one side, on I, one go side. I go as far as I can. As far as I can. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, anyway, cons uh, anyway, the conservation uh, of the, the conservation uh, unilateral parametrium is not a guarantee that the function will be preserved because from while to while we may have a dominance of, a, of one, uh, one part of another one. And I remember a patient where I had to go very laterally on the parametrium to remove a big nodule and she had uh, the wrong technique and uh, I did and not touch, touch the over part, the over, over side and she had, uh, she had self-catheterization for six months. It means that okay. you may have one side which is dominant over the other side. But you cannot, uh, you cannot, uh, I, I think you cannot estimate this prior, prior the surgery. Or once you, start, okay. once you start to remove the parametrio, I think that the interest is to go as far as possible, because even though you stop at the middle way, uh, the function may already be impaired, and if the patient has self-catheterization and the piece of the nodule left behind, it's not a good deal. So, okay. unilaterally, I go as far as necessary, but on the other okay. side, on the other side, we will see. I will uh, reject the uterosacral ligament, but not the parametrium. Okay, so you sometimes leave something behind. If you have a bilateral involvement, yes. then you. Okay, yes. that's a very important information that you uh, you are more careful to uh, to to avoid um, the uh, damage of the nerves and the bladder dysfunction. And uh, I, uh, I spoke about if I exchange with uh, Marcello Ceccaroni. Uh, yes. And uh, he, uh, he is doing the same. Okay. He is actually doing Very the same. Very important information. And I think it is the, it is the unique, uh, to date, it's the unique uh, solution to avoid the uh, huge, uh, huge uh, dysfunctions because if the patient has no longer endometriosis but she has uh, self-catheterization for uh, the next 50 years, I don't feel it would be a success. Now from and now here you're, you're cutting the right side and where are the nerves and how, how far would you go? I, I will stay on this level. I will stay on the level of the of the ureter and not going here. So I remove everything on the level of the ureter because the nerves are below. But I will stop on the level of the ureter. So this is my uh, this is my uh, my strategy. So I don't remove. So this is the so this is this is the cervical this is the cervical part of the hypogastric. Plexus. This is a cervical part, the proximal yes. one. So, I, I so we can expect. Yeah. We stay at this level and not below. We can expect some hyposensitivity of the bladder, couldn't we? By cutting here. By cutting here. It, just by removing the proximal part. What are you doing now? Yes, that's why I I, I yes, will remove I, just I will this, remove part. Just this part. 
For that reason, I sometimes believe now the the uh, classification that you exactly uh, classify which part in the B compartment you have to divide it in right and left because for if this patient comes to another surgery in a few years in a different center and they don't know what you have removed, then yes. it can happen that they then they cut the right side and then she will have a problem. Yes, that's why that's why I fully inform the patient that a new surgery should be very carefully considered and it would be always better to come to see the to come to see, to see the first surgeon me and uh, I uh, to all the patient I give them pictures and I give them the movie so this patient as the as the surgery was uh, recorded for you I will put you I will put it on the YouTube and I will go the link to the pa I will give the link of the patient so if someone else uh, manage uh, one of my patients he has to know that the movie is available somewhere either on my uh, YouTube channel or on one of my hard disks. So I, I fully record all the surgeries uh, and I started to do this in 2006. So I have, I don't know, 10, uh, 10 hard disks with uh, a lot of movies, but uh, I can find every every uh, procedure and I think it is very interesting for the patient and I know that this is a very disputable point of view to give or not to give the movie of the patient because uh, if the patient sue you uh, this can be uh, this can be unfavorable to the surgeon but me, I think that if the patient yeah, sue me, showing the movie and the, the, the incision uh, uh, can uh, rather uh, defend uh, me than uh, accuse me. But anyway, I, I had, anyway, I had I to date, I had no patient to sue me. So, uh, because I try to be very <laughs> transparent uh, before, and the before and after the surgery. So now I and this is very important, yes. But I think that now we can we can remove we can record the movies. I think it is very important to 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 give the the movie to our patients. So in in my daily practice, 50% of patients have already had the surgery somewhere, and. Uh, I would be very pleased to I have this, uh, to, have to have a this, movie uh, before uh, planning a surgery for colorectal endometriosis, which has already managed by shaving or by colorectal resection by some by someone else. I think that my surgery would be uh, easier for me and uh, more uh, more efficient, maybe for of course, more yes. safer. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, I have a question now. You are cutting the posterior fornix. Yes. Uh, the I uterus yes. uh, seem the uterus itself seems to be uh, thickened on the back side. And what do what do you plan with the back side of the uterus? Uh, in patients who want uh, to get pregnant, actually, I do not. Uh, I do not uh, remove. I do not cut into the into the uterus. I try to stay at the level of the of the posterior uh, uterine wall because uh, okay. because I, I I cannot I don't know if what I'm doing if I cut something I don't know if it is actually useful or not for uh, from a clinical point of view and then. And then we have more and more, we have more, and more reports about uh, report obstetrical uh, uh, outcomes after the surgery of endometriosis and uh, not far and, uh, than uh, uh, two weeks ago, two weeks ago we, had we had a meeting uh, in, uh, in Lyon, uh, in Lyon. And, uh, and one uh, of my colleagues from Paris uh, reported uh, two cases of uterine rupture after the surgery of endometriosis, a rupture always on the back 
on the back wall and uh, we discussed and, uh, about we the discussed opportunity about to cut into the into the myometrium without without having a a strong argument that strong it argument is that useful for pain useful or for, uh, for, uh, for uh, pregnancy. For, uh, so I, I do not pregnancy. speak about so the OSADA procedures, which is reserved to very large uh, adenomyoma. So I'm speaking about uh, this kind of uterus, where you have, uh, where you have uh, adenomyosis on the posterior wall, but it is not... Uh, yeah, yes. But uh, Horace, you have also mentioned that it, surgery to, sur to, to remove or not to remove is not only the question, it's also the question how you remove it, which instrument you use. For example, when you use this thermical instrument, you leave a lot of damage behind. Then you will have a healing pro problem. Then this is we have to discuss in the future, not only the procedure itself, so on how it is performed, yes. which instrument, which yes. energy, how is the reconstruction, these are many questions to be answered and we should be very careful just to to judge uh, not knowing uh, about the details. Because the, the, because in, the, in surgery, the, in the, pro, surgery, the, the, the concern the, is not if we can do it, of course we can do it, because most of patients said, yes, but the the surgeon cannot, do not, do not know removing the endometriosis. And I answered, no, the problem is not that we cannot remove, because, because we can, we can, uh, we can uh, empty your body and uh, leave it only the muscles and the bones, but uh, the problem is that if it is helpful for you or not. And uh, I think that uh, uh, for adenomyosis we have no, we have no very clear idea if it is helpful and uh, in which patient it could be helpful for pain and for, uh, let me see where is the ureter, you have to have a look at the ureter, so the ureter is there. So, as the so how, how, you, how you decide how much you resect? Because now you just touch the tissue or how you decide the dimension so of I the excision? I think, that, I, I think that here I have uh, healthy tissue. Uh, on the, on the ureter, okay. I'm not in healthy tissue. Here on the uterosacral ligaments, maybe I can remove this. But not more because not more then because I'm into the I am into the, uh, the uterus. And as I told you, I will stay deeper. Huh? I will stay. There's also dorsal vein now, no? <coughs> so dorsal vein. Dorsal vena dorsalis. Yeah. And uh, was it a full thickness involvement in the vagina wall? Yes, it is a full thickness yes, because, uh, full thickness when, because I the when I saw the patient in consultation, I was not sure that the I vagina was, sure was involved. But when I performed the vaginal examination under anesthesia prior to start the surgery, it was not doubt, no doubt that the vagina was involved. Let, let it down. And you see? The vagina, is, uh, yeah. vagina is. Yes, we can see it. Here. Yeah, yes, we can see. It. So I will, I will stop so here. Will, here is the cervix, the and then I will close the will vagina. Close now the question, now the, the question, question is: Should we, is, should or should we, we do not, we do not perform a stoma in this case? And I think we won't do it, even though we have uh, two sutures. Uh, because uh, because uh, when I was in Rouen, was in we, Rouen used we used to, we were using to carry out stoma in order to avoid the complications due to due to let it down due to system. Due to bowel fistula, you mean, <coughs> but here you mean a here, yes, yes. You mean a temporary ileostoma as a relief for the so, sorry for the for so, ileostoma as a relief as a relief ileostoma postoperatively. So I, I said here I, help, I, said, I, to, I want I 
I will. In this case, I won't do it. In this case, I won't but do it. If you do What's your indication for the ileostoma? What's your indication for the ileostoma to set it? Uh, is it in the hand of the sergeant uh, or is it in the hand of yours? So the, for me, the indication of the stoma would be, uh, would be uh, a vaginal, large vaginal, vaginal suture, suture and a large rectal suture, large rectal on, very suture on very close contact. Okay. But... But, but, this, uh, this, this, is uh, not, uh, this is not, this is not, uh, if, this, this is not is an not argument, an uh, argument uh, definitely, uh, definitely uh, valid, uh, valid, because, uh, because uh, in uh, Bordeaux we in, uh, stopped Bordeaux performing we uh, stoma, uh, we, we reduced uh, our stoma uh, maybe two or three fold when compared to what we are doing in war. And uh, I do not feel and, uh, that uh, we have uh, that, uh, more, uh, more, more fistula, but I do not feel that we have more complicated cases. More but complicated. if you do not carry out a stoma, you, you have to be very, 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 very careful, very, careful and very careful present and very in the immediate follow-up. Follow and uh, as an example, Two weeks ago, I carry out. Ago, I carry out. I carry out. Uh, I carry out, uh, I carry out uh, life surgery to bucalest, and we carry out a large disc excision on a patient with a huge involvement of the parametrium and the low rectum and. Uh, we did not perform the stoma. Outcomes were favorable and the patient lived day five. And this is the vagina. Okay. And now we we'll close it. Horace, yes. Horace, there is a question from the auditory, <coughs> still to, to the bladder problematic. Do you perform preoperatively urodynamic examination at the uh, symptomatic patients? So, with the, the patients with the dysuria. With, with what with with, kind of examination? Urodyna urodynamic. Uh, I, At I, those I, patients with dysuria. Yeah, I perform only yeah, in perform patients only with, uh, in patient where with, I feel that I they, feel have, uh, they have uh, major, uh, major post-voiding uh, bladder volume. So I do not perform... No, pre-operatively. 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 Pre pre okay. I do not perform in everybody. Why? Because uh, uh, to date it is not very easy to have the urodynamic test yeah. in, in France. So uh, yeah. the patient so, uh, has to, there is a waiting to, list. Waiting Second, because if the patient has a contraceptive pill, and uh, I also ask them to take a contraceptive pill before the surgery, the urodynamic test may be false negative. Negative. Meaning that most of okay. patients with, uh, <laughs> with uh, dysuria have the dysuria during the period. And once you stop, once you stop the, uh, the periods and you give them a pill, uh, the dysuria will not be revealed by uh, the urodynamic test. And, uh, what else? There's there are another question from the, from the auditory, yes. if I may interrupt you. Uh, when you are finishing the suturing of the vaginal vault, would you mind to show us a little bit more round uh, what the nerves is the problematic concern means? Pudendal nerve, hypogastric once more again, and the sacral roots. Thank you. But uh, I will do it even uh, prior to the vaginal suture because uh, it's not an emergency to... The and the other question, the other question is uh, from the auditorium is the question is uh, how long does a patient have to wait for intercourse after vaginal closure? Three months. Three months. I ask them to. Three months. You you are very strict. Yes, I am strict. Three months. It's a lot. But uh, but it is a it's a large suture. Is the reinsertion of the vagina on the cervix, and this suture is not uh, the quality of this suture is not uh, is not very high. 
So I ask them to not to have intercasts for three months and not to have intercasts prior to see me in a consultation. And usually a post-operative visit is scheduled three months after the surgery. Okay. How about the use of omental or mesorectal flap? Do you do you perform in such cases some an, an omental flap? Um, no. So I was oh. carrying out uh, systematically uh, when I was in uh, Rouen, and then I definitely stopped, and I do not see any differences in terms of fistula, because uh, I prefer to to preserve the omentum for the cases where I have to repair a fistula in order to have something to interpose between uh, the vagina and, uh, and the rectum. And the second, because uh, we, uh, we wrote the guidelines for endometriosis in France uh, two, year, two years ago, and uh, there was no evidence that the momentum flap decreases the risk of fistula. Any kind of uh, surgery, surgery, colorectal surgery confirmed. So they are not, we are, um, we are doing this, but, but we, they are not strong on the high level evidence uh, arguments. So, once back on the anatomical uh, part, so we have here the ureter. Just below the ureter, we have the artery, hypogastric artery here, and just below we have the hypogastric vein here. So, the hypogastric plexus. Prosím techniky pustit dolů zase ten malý obraz. Sorry. I, I did not understand the question. I did not understand the question. It was in Czech language. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so here, just just so below, here, just we have just below, we have we have the piriform muscles, piriform muscles, piriform muscles, and the sacral roots. roots. And I think and we I have think we have, may have one here, but we may have one uh, here. Uh, I think we have one here. I think we have one here. I don't want to dissect because from the sacra from the sacral root they are the splanting nerves and dissecting without reason may may destroy the may injury the splanting nerves. So it is here, but in in yes. Uh, just to inform you, I personally, my personal opinion is you have to do what is necessary from the medical point of view. Sure. There is no reason to do, any, to do any dissection like in the cadaver in a live uh, patient and you do such a good job. But show us the anatomy where it is, but it's not necessary for me to do a preparation uh, in areas which is not necessary. Yes. And far, far yes. from more, and far from more, I carried out this surgery one week ago, and week there ago. the sacral roots were the obvious, so you can, uh, obvious, for those who are interested, they can uh, just have a look on my LinkedIn, uh, uh, LinkedIn uh, channel, where the surgery is uh, on live with comments, and here on this, uh, on this plane you find uh, several sacral roots. Okay, now I will close okay, the vagina no, and then I will prepare, I will prepare, this is what, yeah, I will prepare the rectum for the colorectal resection, so give me please, uh, so the vagina I used to close it with uh, separate stitches, because if one of them fails, <laughs> The other <laughs> will the other keep the vagina closed. The vagina and I know that uh, several know colleagues, uh, several use, uh, colleagues uh, use uh, Veloc or uh, running, running, sutures, or, uh, running uh, sutures, but, uh, running sutures, but uh, I, I think that I, I think in, this that case, in this case, separate stitches may be, stitches may be, may be better. And I used to put and as uh, many as stitches as I can, meaning I that can. here uh, there will be six or seven. I start by, I start by 
the angles. The angles. And I use uh, a uh, knot pusher, so I carry pusher, out so extra corporal knots. Because I, I think they because are, I, I think they are very, very tight, very and it goes tight. very fast. It goes very fast. Okay. So to or as, out or as, do you hear me? Do you would like, you would like to switch to the operation room uh, A for uh, two minutes again, very well. so that Jan could present very us well. this his, his case. Okay. Be back soon. Thank you. Okay. Můžu poprosit techniky sál zase A a přehodit to, tak ano, výborně. A yes, I can hear you, ahoj. <laughs> Good, ok. Tell us, tell us more about the situation, and the anatomical situation, what we are doing now. Ça ira, non Il n'y va pas parce que je vais couper, je vais couper à l'ultracision. Hein? J'ai pas quand il part en chirurgie live parce qu'après... C'est vrai. Ça fait qu'en classe, c'est bon. Elle fait plusieurs boulots en même temps. Elle était bien, mais la preuve met us. So. <laughs> uh, what is this? Excuse me. Oh, there's a question. There's a question. What is the sort of instrument you are using? This bipolar coagulation. And dissecting. And this is only a bipolar energy. And you cut with the current. So it's similar to the uh, ultracision. They have not? It's bipolar, so it stays cool. No, it, it is, uh, I did it twice, I did it twice, and it is very difficult to come back. Okay. And you can use it for bipolar coagulation, and you use a different current for cutting. I did it twice, and uh, when I came back to, to operate, yes, okay. the, bottom, the vagina opened. You know? So... So you are going it straight uh, along the uh, longitudinal umbilical ligament, and uh, then afterwards you will open the bladder. Is it right? It's not necessary at all. Uh, you take this one. Okay, ciseaux.
You are so silent. <laughs> could, could you tell us something more? What are you doing? Where are you now? That you are <coughs> approaching, <coughs> approaching the. But I thought we were keeping some secrets. Okay, so. <clears throat> Oras is on the way. <coughs> no. Actually, uh, yesterday there was a discussion whether to operate this tribunal okay, let, let or not. Let it, let it down. Uh, in asymptomatic patients, uh, patients I'm, I'm sure not, but uh, we have one case of uh, uh, women 25 years old, and uh, he, he had such an abuse, and he was uh, affected by urologist, by the by the plastic surgery, and there was a there was a and uh, there was a anthracosinoma. So that's that's all. All the question is, is uh -huh. there, I'm, 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 I'm sure. The question, do you open the Red Sea space? No, okay. No, no need to hold it. Let it down. Yes, and we finish on time. Yeah, I will check the tubes at the end. Yes, of uh, European uh, Endometriosis League. Yes. And there is their workshop, which will be organized uh, in Bordeaux in March. Pardon? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thrilling video you are doing now, so we are watching you. It's very nice surgery, Jan. So open, be so kind, open the bladder for us and then we switch, and we switch back to, to Oras. Okay. You should, you should, you should tell me. I, 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 I didn't, I didn't yeah. Yeah, you will, you will hear it, don't worry. Here you go. Here, here's the color. Yeah. Okay, now let's go on the color rectory section. Could you do also mucosa sparing? Resection. <laughs> Not opening the mucosa, just removing the myometrium. Uh, the mm. Yes, okay. We see a small communication into the bladder. <laughs> no. I'm always wondering, doing some other surgery, it is, it is, it is so easy. To 
get inside. <laughs> but it, so here we go. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, very well. Keep it like this if you can. There is, there is, there is really no animals there. Uh, usually it is, it is more close to the studio retest. So, so in, uh, in this moment, we are checking the Ostia and the retest. Now we saw it, but it, is, it is very, very distant and far uh, the retest from the. I think it's Damien who comes. Vous pouvez la, vous pouvez l'appeler, lui dire que j'ai besoin de lui dans dix minutes. Ouais. But we can see that this is a bigger nodule than we expected, just from looking from outside. So the preoperative assessment with the ultrasound gives you uh, the real dimension of the disease, and so it's very, very nice to see, and you make a very Nice job to demonstrate the, the complete nodule, which uh, and the hole will be bigger than we expected it at the beginning. So one, once more, the, the same question. Will you open the red seals space so that, so that you get more tissue for the flap, so that for the, for the suturing afterwards? Yeah, more laterally. Smaller. Yes, I, I think also that in this case, the most important thing is when you close the, the bladder, it's a tension-free suture. And if the edges are adapt, uh, adapting without any problem, then you must not mobilize everything. And we will see in a few minutes how the edges can be approximated and then you can additionally mobilize the, the, the bladder by opening the paravesical spaces. Come here, I have to, to free a bit more. Jan, yeah, sorry about this, but we need to switch back to Bordeaux. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much again. Můžeme poprosit zase o výměnu obrazu. Bordeaux jako hlavní a... Okay, so... Look at what I, so we're uh, back to you. Look at what I did. So I completely closed the vagina using one, two, Looks very well. four, five, six sutures. And then I started preparing the rectum by uh, cutting the mesorectum on close contact with the, with the bowel. So in this way, we try to preserve the nerves and everything for the edges and I uh, 
I uh, see that here we have I an over node. Here we have an over node. You, you see here. There's an over infiltration, so her, her rectum, her sigmoid colon is infiltrated <laughs> at several <laughs> levels, two or three levels below the nodule which has been seen in, uh, in the MRI. Then we have to make sure that the sigmoid colon gets down, so I will free here a bit more. And then I will uh, change, will, uh, change, I will cut the, the, rectum, cut the distally rectum distally on the, on the one, to one or two centimeters one below one the uh, inferior uh, limit of the nodule. And, and clean, and please. Clean. clean. No, clean. here. No, okay. here. No. Yeah. On, on the peritoneum. No. On, on the peritoneum. Uh, just a moment. Uh, uh, we, have we have to clean because we are working in fat we tissue, are working in and, fat uh, tissue and uh, time you are working in fat tissue, you are working in fat tissue, the view, no, uh, the view avec no. Uh, avec sorry, just to, sorry. to, to send just you a, to, to send you a nice, view. nice view, okay, so okay. I will... So I, will I will release the, the colon in order to uh, uh, carry out uh, uh, colorectal resection and the anastomosis tension free. So I think that it, so will, be think that it will be enough. Okay. Okay. Let me see. So Let it goes down see. very, very well. We, we have to make sure that it goes down very well. Now, I will put uh, 12 millimeter trocars here in order to be able to put... Uh, hold, please. Hold, hold, hold the camera. Uh, in I will just increase the incision and put... A and uh, 12 and millimeter uh, trocar for the endo GIE. Endo GIE. We'll use endo GIE we'll 65 from uh, Covidian. From, uh, Covidian. Okay. okay. Okay, just hold, hold the camera, okay, please. Hold, hold the the camera, nodule, please. I, I will the hold the nodule, you hold the bracket. Okay. okay. So I increase the angle so in order to, angle in order to, to be as to be horizontally as, as possible. Now, come here. Now, come here. So me, I hold the so nodule and I my colleague will hold the rectum, rectum upper, 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 there, yes. Yeah. Hold the rectum and the rectum I have to see very well, see very well where, the, where the, the, stapler is placed. the stapler is placed. Yes. So yes. here we are so here actually we are good actually because the inferior limit of the nodule is here. So we close it. So we close the ureter is Far away, okay. Far okay, away. Leave, it. Okay. leave it. Okay, leave it. Okay. Okay. We fire. We fire. Ah. Uh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We start again. We start again. Okay. So we close. Okay. So we close. We fire. We fire. We wait, uh, we wait uh, some seconds in order to increase the hemostasis. And now we'll cut. And now we'll cut. Horace, do you have a colorectal surgeon in your team now? Uh, I, I have just called him. I have, just I, I have just called her. He's a colleague, a woman, a wonderful, uh, wonderful person, very... Uh, very nice person, very, uh, very nice gentle, person, uh, very, very gentle, available, uh, very always available. available always so here available. we see that the so stepple, the, stepple, the stepplers goes, the stepple until the, goes until the the end, so we can we can end, cut so we here. Can, we can cut here. 
What you mean by saying available? Sorry, available. She, she, she comes quickly when I ask. Everybody was laughing in the audience, so they they like this attitude of you. Uh, <clears throat> A very, very, very nice person. So you, you are very lucky to have her with us. Problem with me too. No, yeah. I have to change the view. So to change the view requires some manipulation of the of the system. So it is maybe you will you will lose you will lose the view for uh, some seconds. But don't worry. We are back, so we have to. I will have to ask Anne Claire, the anesthesiologist, to go back video conference. Routage. Camera. Ça. Non, 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 le carré. Aida, appuyez et appuyez ici. Et maintenant, prenez... Elle est où la télécommande Là. <coughs> Réduisez le zoom. Do you have the external view Zoom, en bas. OK, 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 OK. We'll decrease. OK, that's OK. Move like this, <coughs> with, uh, uh, avec ça. À droite, gauche. On... on. Ok. Mettez-la. Uh, first, because I'm I'm not very used to do it. I did it uh, twice, uh, several years ago, and uh, the results were not. Uh, oh, I'm here. Um, ok. Montez un peu la table. et augmenter le zoom. Yes. Ok, very well. Et monter un peu la table. Parfait. Bistouri. No, let, let, let it, let it. Like this. Like this. Augmenter un tout petit peu le zoom parce que sinon l'image est aveuglée. Yes. Enfin, il y a, il y a beaucoup de blanc. Et monter un peu. Euh, ou de baisser, baisser un peu l'image de là, mais baisser un peu l'image. Parfait, super. Ah oui, en clair, il me faut les lunettes. Elles, sont, elles, sont, elles doivent être... Ah zut, elles sont dans ma poche. Il faut que vous mettez la main comme ça. Je suis très, très, très chanteux. Parfait, merci. Le 29. Tu as appelé euh C'est ronde. Hein.
Donnez-moi une pince, s'il vous plaît, une pince de mostaz. C'est une résection correctale finalement. This, if you put, if you put your fingers, it's, it's less. Gently. Ok, tu peux arrêter d'insuffler. Vous savez, quand vous pouvez baisser un tout petit peu la table, parce que je pense que ça va être assez haut pour euh, Myriam, et euh, baisser l'image aussi. Ouais. Yes. Okay. So do you do you see what I'm doing? So we so we have here the inferior part of the nodule. Uh, here is the inferior part of the nodule, which was attached like this 
to the superior part of the nodule. And then we have a thick rectal wall until here. So we'll cut the rectum here. So we remove all this part. Impossible to put in a disc excision because they are all eight centimeter. And we'll carry out, we'll carry out a side to end procedure uh, with my colleague uh, Miriam uh, who's scrubbing the hands. So to do this, I will open, hold, hold this. I will open the bowel here. Yes. <laughs> yes, I hear you that you asked these questions previously. <coughs> so, um, in actually, we do the same. We, we do we do both. So we prefer the end to end when you feel that the side to end would be a bit too. Uh, uh, under tension and uh, it seems that the side to end it's uh, is better for uh, for the vascularization but I will ask to uh, Miriam so we are very pleased to have with us uh, Dr. Miriam Nuai colorectal surgeon very skilled in colorectal endometriosis and uh, we work very very well with her so the question was why we prefer the side uh, viens ici parce que sinon tu vas être devant hein. why we prefer the no c'est pas bien parce que uh, why we prefer the side to end to the end to end so speak in the microphone <laughs> Vascularization of the colon. So, of the it's so it's, it's better the anastomosis because the <coughs> the accommodation of the superior part with the inferior part is uh, is better. But we we are doing a uh, hemostasis, but we are also doing um, the end to end if if uh, we feel that we have not enough uh, colon to get down into the pelvis and we want to decrease the um, tension. Uh, yes, but we, we, yes, we, we, we prefer the side to end. And in uh, Rouen, I think 99% of anastomoses were end to end, uh, were side to end. Okay, endogier. Put a main post. Okay. It's okay, Porto. Suture.
y a plusieurs chirurgies en même temps. Enfin, on est deux salons parallèles. Donc, il y a un collègue de République tchèque qui fait une euh, endométriose de vessie. <coughs> hmm? À Prague, oui. Où je suis supposé d'aller euh, si euh, je peux m'envoler, bien sûr. Bah oui. Rien n'est moins sûr. Est-ce que j'ai cinq présentations à faire Yes So we, so we are we are securing the stepped line lateral stepped line with a running suture of uh, vicryl simply to reduce the the bleeding because you may have bleeding into the abdomen but also you may have rectal rage and if we have rectal rage is uh, rectal rage uh, a couple of hours after the, the end of the surgery, we are uh, in the good sheets because uh, it is very difficult to stop them. So usually we, we, wait, to, we wait for a spontaneous natural hemostasis and uh, we, may, uh, uh, we may choose to transfuse the patient in order to to uh, control the loss of uh, blood. So, we, we, huh? and we stop the anticoagulants, and if, if, uh, if we cannot control uh, in this manner, we may also uh, carry out uh, uh, colonoscopy to do the hemostasis and uh, Attila I'm sure he remembers one uh, such case we had in Rouen when he paid me a visit and uh, we had to carry out the colonoscopy at the end of the day because, be because the patient has a huge, huge, huge uh, uh, loss of uh, blood. Oh, on the see. Yes, but so to, to finish the history of that patient, so uh, we, we, with uh, Attila, we carried out a colorectal resection and ileocolonic resection. In the evening, she had, uh, she had uh, hemorrhage, rectorage from uh, the ileocolonic uh, anastomosis. Okay. So uh, we carried out a colonoscopy. Then she had a fistula because when you have rectal age, we also have an increased uh, risk of fistula. And then she delivered. She de she had uh, she has routage. Uh, no 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 a routage. Just a moment. Okay. Uh, no endocam. Okay. Aida, video conference. Endocam. Ah, ça. Endocam. Wonderful. Lunettes. Baissez la table et mettez-la en... Insufflation. Oui, mais en plus. Ça, ça n'insuffle pas, Marine. Oh, 
Okay, so this is the last step of the surgery. We'll carry out the anastomosis. So I, I will clean, uh, clean the view. So we put uh, betadine, that's why uh, you have this brown liquid. Okay, very well. Uh, where, where do we want to, in the middle? Okay, hold, hold the camera, please. So I will, so we use a circular stapler, 29 millimeter diameter, uh, like this, go on. And now Miriam will uh, push the needle. Okay, very well. Now we have to, to, re to cut all these vessels that might be, maybe, uh, involved maybe coked into the stapler line and may bleed so to finish the history of the patient we managed with uh, otilo she had a pregnancy by ivf but she had a preterm delivery and she lo and she lost her baby so uh, an obstetrical uh, outcome which might be maybe 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 uh, related uh, to the A or T or to uh, the antecedent of uh, surgery, nobody knows very well. But as you know, there are more and more reports about uh, unfavorable obstetrical outcomes in patients with endometriosis, even though a majority of them, of these outcomes, or not only in patients with endometriosis, but, only, but also in patients with A or T. It is difficult to decide, to conclude if the, the problem is due to the ART or to the past surgery for endometriosis. Okay, let me see if it's okay. Here are some vessels too. I'm, I'm not afraid. Uh, yes, I, I don't like to calculate, but I, I'm more afraid by uh, by uh, rectorage. Yes, by the bleeding. Okay, thanks. So let's look for the for the proximal extremity. Where is it? Where is it? lost fortunately it is lost inside and not outside here hold, hold the camera please because i have only one hand oh. okay very well now we have to check that there is no twist no. Okay, very well. Okay. Uh, we let it eat once she has, we, we, she may have a, uh, some very uh, easy, uh, Huh? So let's see if the hemostasis is okay. Yeah, I, I will carry out a coagulation here <coughs> because then it will be impossible to do it once uh, we are into the pelvis. So we, we recently have a, have a complication, had a complication uh, the patient is still uh, here with us. Th there was a colorectal resection, easy to do. And then the patient had a hematoma of the pelvis, day four. And we suspect that it comes from uh, such vessel cut by, uh, by the stapler. Then uh, she had a fistula. And then she had an over hemorrhage so we had to perform three free surgeries in 10 days so it's a very very challenging history but now i think uh, we are on the good way so that's to, to say to say that 
if you if you carry out such surgery you have to be prepared to have complications and you have to be prepared to to act very quickly and without losing time and uh, with Miriam we yes Yes. Uh, yes, but uh, if if uh, even though you perform an end to end, you cannot put all the all the step line used to cut the rectum distally into the circular stepler. So you all always have Yes, of course, but you, you do not have only one circular uh, your one circular stepped line. The we have only two complications. I saw only two complications related to this lateral stepped line to the side to end, two complications in my career. There were uh, uh, a kind of uh, big poach by the dilation of the lateral part, you know? So the patient com came with a very, very 10 centimeter large poach because this uh, excluded uh, segment uh, uh, dilated very, very much, but None of them were, were my patients, so I don't know uh, exactly how the side to end was done. But I don't have a uh, uh, plus, vous plaît. But in patients with fistula, we never had fistula from the lateral uh, part, but always from the... So I, d I don't know. I, ca I cannot answer you to the question. Of course, that if you... Mal so, air... Yeah, this is the bubble test. So, so we bladder catheter will be removed tomorrow. Uh, we'll check at least two bladder scan to see how the bladder uh, voice. Tu peux antéverser un peu, s'il te plaît? Antéverser l'utérus, s'il te plaît. So how the how the bladder uh, voice? Uh, then she can eat even this evening. She can uh, drink water this evening. She can have uh, something very, very light today and uh, tomorrow. I expect her to have uh, bowel movements for gas uh, tomorrow or after tomorrow. And very important, we, or we check the risk of uh, fistula perf by performing C-reactive protein and uh, white uh, blood uh, cells uh, level the day three, four, five, and maybe six if, uh, if required. So this is a very, very important point. If you do not perform the stoma, if you do not perform the stoma, we have to check. Uh, day four or day five, day four. Day four, and if they are not from uh, Bordeaux, they have to stay to, to live uh, in Bordeaux until uh, day 10. After day 10, I think we have no... I will also remove the appendix because I think it is involved by endometriosis. Okay? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And
Thank you very much. And I, and I hope to see you this evening, even though it is not sure, but I hope to be with you this evening. See you. Uh, oui, testo bleu. Mettez-la en, en, en train, s'il vous plaît. Mettez-la en train. Et on a été pile dans les deux heures. C'était juste parfait. Il faut qu'on finisse pour libérer... Ouais. Il faut libérer la place pour Benjamin. Euh, non, on peut faire le test au bleu, comme ça je vois mieux. Dommage qu'ils n'ont pas eu une belle... Euh Mais je pense, et c'est un problème de, de, de réception, pas, de, pas du signal que j'ai envoyé. Alors, antéversé. Ok. Ah oui. Et oui, il faut non mais c'est trop compliqué parce qu'on est sur le routage. Oh ça ici. Hein. Ouais, ici aussi, aussi. Non mais ça vient ici aussi, regardez. Ok, parfait. Euh, appendicectomie et Come on my side, my friend. Oui? C'est parfait. Non, mais non, mais non, mais non. Je fais l'appendicectomie. Ah, c'est un truc. Non, mais c'est un truc pour des internes. Hein, pour, euh, je suis ton interne. Hein. <rire> mais non. Oui. Ah oui, tout à fait. Parce que dans une heure, il doit commencer. Distance quoi Ah, parfait. 10, 11. And 8 cm length. Donnez. Ah, uh, you can put, uh, yeah, put, put two, because the overweights are very small. Yeah. On va le sortir, je ne vais pas le couper à l'intérieur, je vais le couper à, à travers la... Ouais, je suis bien. Enfin, si j'arrive, mais c'est pas sûr parce que je ne vais pas décoller. Non, non, il faut que je le coupe comme ça. Euh, non, non, parce que je, je le sors directement.
Ciseau. Je vais libérer le téléphone d'abord. Ok, go on the side, it's ok. Thanks. Tiens, hold it please, hold it. No. Ah, vous avez sorti allô? Euh. Bah oui, alors. Hein? Non, mais on n'est pas. Ah, parce que j'avais dit qu'on met euh, allô? Oui, non, mais on ne met pas. Mais c'était si on était en direct, mais comme ça, je ne mets pas. Ouais. Ok. Ok, on arrête d'insuffler.